Hi everyone, this Black History Month, the Windsor Public Library is celebrating the lives and sharing the stories of famous Windsorites of color. Today, get to know anti-slavery activist and publisher, born nearly 200 years ago, Marianne Shad. Mary Ann Shad was the founder and editor of the Provincial Freeman, a newspaper established for the Black community of Upper Canada that began publication in 1853. She was an outspoken anti-slavery activist and advocate of women's rights. Shad moved to Canada and settled in Windsor, Ontario in 1851. The move was to escape the threat of the Fugitive Slave Act, which enabled unlawful enslavement of African Americans. In Windsor, she opened a school for black refugees, similarly escaping the threat of enslavement in America. Born on October 9, 1823, Mary Ann Shad was raised in a family of free black abolitionists living in the slave state of Delaware. By 1833, the Shad family had relocated to Pennsylvania, where Mary attended a Quaker school for black children. After graduating in 1839, Mary became a teacher at the age of 16. She helped found the Provincial Freeman in 1853, a weekly newspaper for the black community of Upper Canada. Although listed on the masthead as M.A. Shad, publishing agent, in reality, Mary was the editor of the paper. In 1854, Mary publicly corrected the misapprehension that M.A. Shad was a man, and resigned from the newspaper shortly afterwards. After leaving the Provincial Freeman, Mary resumed her teaching career in Chatham, Ontario. In 1856, she wed Thomas F. Carey of Toronto. During the American Civil War, Shad returned to the United States to recruit black soldiers for the Union Army. After the war, Mary, now a widow after the death of Carey in 1860, moved to Washington, D.C., where she taught at school, worked for the welfare of emancipated blacks, and studied law at the Howard University School of Law. She graduated Howard in 1883 and at the age of 60, joined the National Women's Suffrage Association. Mary Ann Shad passed away in 1893, but her legacy lives on as an anti-slavery activist, publisher, and outspoken activist of women's rights.